Thank you all for coming. On behalf of the Village of East Palestine, I, would, I want to welcome President Biden. As we pass the, one, the first anniversary of the trail and der, train derailment, the Village of East Palestine appreciates the support from the US EPA, the Department of Transportation. We'd also like to thank Governor Mike DeWine, the Ohio EPA, the Ohio EMA, and the Department of Public Safety, and all of our state and local partners that have been with us since the beginning. Our village has faced many challenges, but as a community, we have shown resilience. We will not be defined by this single event, rather our response to it and our perseverance. President Biden, your long-awaited visit to our village today allows us to focus on the things we agree with, acknowledging this disaster should have never happened, address the long-term health concerns and the economic growth of the village, and ensure this never happens again to another community. Our goal is to be collaborative and proactive, collectively taking control of what we can shape uh, for a stronger future. This includes support of bipartisan railway legislation, federal tax relief for funds received by Norfolk, so, by Norfolk, I'm from Norfolk Southern, sorry, along with your unwavering support and assurances that our long-term concerns and needs will be addressed, which we have expressed here today, sir. We will not stop working, though. We will continuously strive to improve, not relying on just external aid, but on each other and our own efforts to elevate the village. We are committed to seizing every opportunity for growth, enhancing our community's strength, resilience through initiative and perseverance. Here in East Palestine, we are rooted in pride, tradition, and unwavering in our drive for progress and to determine the outcome of any obstacle. I thank you all for coming here today, and God bless East Palestine and the United States.